My week started off with the first workout being on the bike. Cross training is an important part of everyone's training as it helps to reduce impact and also prevent any potential injuries. So today we did a simple workout of 1 minute hard and 2 minute easy for 30 minutes including a 15 minute warm up and a 15 minute cool down. Since it was pretty cold outside, it was a perfect day to train indoors because training in very cold temperatures can also lead to injuries. After the workout I did few plyometric exercises and then that was it for the day. Later, we also got into the gym to do a very light workout as we were racing the next day. We had a few mobility exercises and easy lifts. Training close to a competition early this season isn't necessarily a bad thing. When more important competitions come up, we won't be weight training this close to the meet. We have to remember that we're always aiming to peak during the conference championships. Wednesday, we had the same old 60 minute long run with the group. Thankfully, it was warmer that day, so it was a lot more enjoyable. Then the next day was the pre-meet workout, so it was only a 35 minute run. And then I also got into the blocks to get a feel for my block started since I was running the 400. The day of the second meet arrived so fast, I didn't even have time to finish thinking about the last meet when we already had to prepare for the next one. I still don't know how I feel about the dynamic of racing almost every weekend. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love racing, but if I want to reach a small peak during indoor season, I've got to get good weeks of training in. I started thinking a lot about this during uh, the day of the meet, but I told myself I have to stop thinking about the different training possibilities, if we're doing enough speed work, if I should have ran cross country season, if everything that we did slowed me down, if I was too tired. So I focused on the race and let my coach do what he knows best. I simply have to trust the process. Arriving at IU, I got a feeling for the track and I got more confident. Although I had raced a week prior, I still believed that I could better my times for the 600 as well as the 400. Since I was seated with the slowest time in my heat, my approach for the 600 was just to hang out in the back and push hard at the last lap. The guys in my heat had times of 1 minute 18, so I told myself all I had to do was follow their lead and kick. The body always follows the mind. You're gonna hear me say that a lot. You can't let your body lead the way because it's gonna fail you many times. You're gonna be sick, you're gonna be tired. But if your mind's there, maybe you'll still go out there and race. And maybe it won't be your best, but it might still be solid. Coming off the break, I was positioned exactly how I planned it. Right behind the small pack, not having to push or worry about anyone passing me. I split a time just over 25 for the first lap, which was on pace for a sub 1 minute 20. The following lap was a lot slower and I could feel the guys in front of me slowing down and getting tired. I stayed patient and I stayed right on their tails to split at 27 for the second lap. The possibility of a sub 1 minute 20 was still achievable, but it meant that I had to push hard at the end to get there. I started picking up the pace and passed the first guy in front of me. I come at 500 meters to realize that the first guy was way in front. All I remember telling myself was, don't let that guy win. In the end, I didn't manage to rape 1 minute 20. However, it was a very well executed race. And that's how I'll eventually get good times. By racing people, not racing the clock. I kept my head high because the next day I was racing the 400. Last race, I ran 49.25. And without much speed training, I still believed that I had a sub 49 in me. Since I had driven four hours yesterday and two hours the day of the 400, I felt a little more tired than usual. My new objective was to try something new and execute it. I wanted to open up the first 100 meters fast. I usually open up the first 200 in about 23.5. This time, I wanted to open up in 23 flat. Indoor season's a, a, a short season. I'm more so focused on your progressions for outdoor season. That's when we need to hit the pinnacle of our, our performance. Of course, you're gonna hit PRs along the way. Of course, you're gonna wanna be good in the moment. Definitely keep striving for that. If you're getting to this point and there's some little things going along the road, bumps along the road, it's okay. Cause you still got time. 
Just where you are today doesn't indicate where you're gonna be in a month. Focus on internal things, not the external. You can't control the external. You can't control if it's gonna be rainy. I know we're indoors, but like if it's, in, if it's raining, if it's sunny, if it's gonna be windy, when go to these outdoor meets and our tents are gonna be blowing everywhere, you can't control that. There's nothing you can do to change that. Only thing you can do is your mindset has to change there. All right, maybe today I'm not gonna set the world on fire and break a world record, but maybe today I can still win. Someone still has to win. Every time y'all compete, someone still wins. At the first lap of the 400, 23.0. I was right on pace for what I set myself to do. Now the last lap, I just had to push and pray that I don't break. The second lap was a lot slower than the first one, obviously, and I ended up with a time of 49.5. I was a little disappointed because I really wanted to run sub 49, but hey, I still got the next weekend. We're racing almost every weekend, and the next one is going to be in Louisville, Kentucky, and hopefully I can redeem myself for the third race. As for the team, the people that were sent out to race at the Indiana Invitational, most of them did pretty good. As everyone is very young and still new to competing this much, I think that the first few races are gonna be a big learning curve for everyone and a place to gain experience to prepare themselves for conference. I'll keep training hard as much in the weight room as on the track. I'll keep eating well, sleeping early, and doing everything that I can in order to be at my full potential. I'll keep documenting my journey and hopefully this season, I can achieve my goals. It hurt. Yeah, and it's crazy, like, without working on any speed, I still managed to go, like, like decent time. We never, like, we didn't do speed this season yet. I've just been doing, like, 16-minute long runs. So I think, it, like, we're on the right track.